Stevie, welcome to the overlap. And we're going to start with 32 questions because you went unbeaten at Rangers all the way through a season. But you won 32 of them. So the first one is, what's your favourite TV programme? It's a soft opener. The Office. Oh, straight in. The Office, I love it. I'm still watching it now. I go back and watch it <laughs> when I'm in a bad mood or <laughs> when I need to take my mind off results. I go right to The Office, Brent, to cheer me up. Favourite character, Brent? Oh, I love him. Huge fan. Love to meet him. Uh, if I ever got the opportunity. Carragher's a big fan of him as well, isn't he? Carragher's Carragher definitely be able to organise that. He's <laughs> higher up in the show as well than me, isn't he? <laughs> Favourite band? Coldplay. Coldplay? Coldplay. I've been to see them live twice. Uh, I got invited to a bit of a secret gig they did at, um, in Liverpool for, for charity, 1,000 people. And uh, it was out of this world, like right. an acoustic version set. Your favourite meal? <laughs> Depends whether you mean before lockdown <laughs> or during lockdown, because um, I let myself go and lock down. Did you? Oh, yeah. If I could pick my last meal, it'd be a full Italian with, with the full Monty, you know, Would like, it? yeah, all the starters and then like two or three different pastas. I'm not someone who likes just the one plate, I like to dip into everything that's going. <laughs> I'm one of them. Favourite drink? I'm a beer man. Beer. I don't mind a, a little Moretti or, or a little Peroni. Um, yeah, I'm a beer man. What's your favourite car? I'm normally a Range Rover person, but the car I've got now is an Audi, one of them Q8 ones. Sponsored, sponsored. No, no, it's not sponsored, actually. It's not sponsored, actually. I um, I, I went and got it myself. I, I used to be like, like my cars early on in my career, yeah. and I've wasted the fortune yeah. on cars, getting this, that, and the other, and, you know, when the ego was, was about. But uh, now I'm safe. I'm just like, nice, nice Audi, nice Rangey, that'll do me. Does it bug you when some of the players come in in cars that you think are a little bit flat? I've just been round the front. There's not mm. too many. There's a... Mm. There's a, little, there's a little roller, though. There's a little roller with a little <laughs> camera lay, mate. Yeah, no, listen, it, it's getting more rollers. I think they're, they're creeping in. I mean, it's, it's You couldn't come in a roller in our day, could you? I mean, well, I'm listen, not... you'd have to back it up. <laughs> you'd, you'd have to back it up. You can't come in a roller and be, like, the worst in training. That's when it, it bugs me. If you're coming in a roller and you're, and you, you know, yeah. a top trainer and a top player, I'm all right with that. So I might just give them a little quiet word if they're not. I won't ask you who's, who's that roller. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Holiday destination. Portugal. Portugal's my place, like a few games of golf, you know what I mean? A few nice uh, meals and a few beers, that'll do me. Favourite superhero? I think I'd have to go for Batman, you know. Batman? I think Batman, yeah. That's when I was a kid, it was always yeah. like, yeah, Batman and Robin, yeah. Like you and Cara, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Am I Robin? <laughs> <laughs> Which member of the Class of 92 would you have most liked to slap? <laughs> How many slaps can we have? <laughs> Oh, all at me as well. No, listen, to be honest with you, I, I'm not just saying this, we were obviously massive rivals when we played <laughs> and all that. And all, all the lads, I, I, I got on with them with England. Uh, yeah. People maybe not believe that and think it, but <laughs> once we obviously went past day three and four and we started talking to each other, <laughs> I normally got on with all of you, didn't I? What annoys you most? People being late. Does that happen? Yes. Is um, it a fine system or...? Yeah, there is, but I, I let the players dominate the majority of the fines. Yeah. I think it's important that they run their own dressing room and, you know, I don't want to be one of these managers that's pulling people in, finding people left, right and centre. I think in this day and age, your preparation and, and, and what you put in, it, it should be on the money, I yeah. think, where the games are. It was always something that I used to try and make a priority for myself, that you were on time all the time. What type of parent would you say you are? Soft at times. That's what my missus would say, for sure. I've got three girls and a boy. I'm a little bit more tougher with him because he's he's got loads of energy. But, yeah, I've been soft with the girls. I've been really soft with the girls. I don't know why. I just I, I can't say no at times. Fernando Torres or Luis Suarez? Oh, I get asked this question all the time. Oh, do you? All the time. You Listen, the answer, then. Uh, both phenomenal, but I'd say Suarez, just because he had everything and... I mean, how long have you got to describe me? He was just... Would he be the best player you played with at Liverpool? Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. I played with some top players, you know, your Alonso's of this world, Mascherano's, Torres's, but Suarez was just different. You just felt, no matter who you were playing, you just had a feeling that he was going to win you the game, every yeah. game, didn't matter who it was. Did he hit you straight away how good he was when he first came, or did it take a bit of time? No, no, straight away, within, like, First session, second session, it was almost like he, he trained the way he played. I remember walking off one of the main sessions that we'd done with Cara, and me and Cara were like, oh my God, yeah. this fella's got bundles, plenty. I remember Cara saying to me, I don't want to play against him every day in training. He was that yeah. intense in training, and he could, he could embarrass you, 
Yeah. Even embarrassed you with stuff that I don't even think he knew he was doing. He yeah. was a ricochet merchant. He, he, he'd run over you. Yeah. He'd dominate you. He'd bully you. What was the character like? Because obviously there's, there's the famous bite incident, which obviously, mm. you know, was a big problem for him at the time. But mm. what was he like off the pitch? Look, there was a few incidents that were tough as, as a friend uh, of Lewis. Um, Did but, you say something to him after that game or around that time? Look, I tried to be a, a friend to him and advise him. A bit older than him, obviously, a bit experienced. I had a situation that when he had the situation with Brendan Rodgers where I tried to be a bit of a go-between. But there's certain situations where you have to back away yeah. and um, let him and his people deal with it themselves. Not that I, I didn't want to help him, but sometimes the situation's bigger than it was. But the, the guy I know and the character I know is different than the incidents that he's had. And, you know, I'm sure he's matured a lot on yeah. the back of them experiences. Did you karaoke? I do it, but I don't do it great. Um, I remember doing Brian Adams when I was... Um, I just played a few games for, for Liverpool, the first Christmas party I was allowed to go to. And I'd done Brian Adams and it was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> and, um, does a bit, doesn't he? He likes to think he does a bit. I'd, anyway. I'd done a charity event with Carter on fr yeah. Friday. Was he singing there? It was meant to be a Q&A and he ended was up he, on a karaoke. Was he having a few? Was he? I seen him have a couple of Heineken. <laughs> he was guilty, yeah, guilty. Um, but I think he'd get up sober though. Yeah. I think he, um, he's at that stage of his life where he's got the confidence and the belief. I'm not there yet. I'm not there. <laughs> he's just got Strictly Come Dancing next, hasn't he? It's, it's the only place for him to go. <laughs> Favourite away ground? I used to love White Hart Lane, the way it was filled in in the corners. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I made my debut there in terms of an, an away game. So that was always like special going back there. So yeah, that'd be the one, I think. Who's the funniest player that you've ever had in a dressing room? I'd have to be Waz, I think. Waz, I think Waz is one of them people, especially when you're away in England and you're away from your family. You need people like Wayne Rooney that are just going to lift a room or, or lift a day or, you know, do something. I used to love being around Wayne, yeah. And obviously, because we've come from similar areas and stuff, I used to really love spending time at Wayne, yeah. Your biggest regret? Not winning the Premier League, I, I, I have to say that. Is that um, a regret, though? Cause you, um, you not not a regret, but it's something that I, I go back and go, oh, I wish I did. Especially, obviously, the one that was, was cruel after the Chelsea thing. I don't know whether that's a regret, but it's certainly something that I look back and wish was different, for, for sure. Childhood idol? Johnny Barnes. Because my dad loved Kenny Daglish, I grew up on DVDs and VHSs of, yeah. of, of Daglish, of, of, of Hansons. But when I started going to the game as a young lad, it had been Johnny Barnes. Yeah, obviously, he was the exciting winger going past people. Also... When you watch the England games on the TV, it'd, it'd be him, yeah. A bit later on, it would have been people that I played with, like Fowlers and, and Redknapps yeah. and Mac Manamans and then likes of Alan Shearer and stuff. I remember walking into a dressing room with you guys to make my debut for England, and I just couldn't believe I was in the room. I couldn't control my nerves. And there was just all men shouting, all like football things. And I was thinking, oh my God, this is too big for me. Tony Adams, yourself, Graham Lasso in there, McMahon and Fowler, Scholes. These are all people that I've been watching on yeah. the telly as, as a young kid. So that was a bit of an unreal experience. What does the first hour of your day look like? It depends where I am. Um, if, if I'm in Birmingham, it would be up, obviously get ready, get a coffee, drive in. Uh, I'd be writing to my office to check over my emails and then it'd be a meeting with my staff. That'd be the first yeah. hour probably. At home, it would be up, give Alex a touch, getting the kids sorted and I'd be either going to the girls' school or drop Leo off at school and then I'd grab myself a coffee on the way back. It'd yeah. be pretty simple and then I'd either go and try and do a run or I'd probably uh, quit and not do a run, sit on the couch and watch <laughs> Loose Women or something. <laughs> <laughs> Your favourite movie? Ooh, I'm not really a, a movie man, I'm more of a box set series person, but... Um, Go on, give me a box set. I'm on Top Boy at the moment. Top Boy, what's Top that? Top Boy, yeah. It's probably not your vibe, Gary, but... Um, <laughs> what's it about? Uh, something going on in London, a load of like crime and kids getting up to no good on the streets. There's a bit of crime. I'm actually fascinated by crime yeah. programmes. Oh, OK. I've read a few fr crime books, I watch a lot of crime documentaries. Yeah, I don't know where it's come from, but it's only like recently I've just yeah. got fascinated. Is that with lockdown, crime. do you think, in terms of being in and watching different things? Or? Yeah, because I'm not really a, a TV or a movie man, really. I'm not really a cinema guy. Yeah. If I got a couple of spare hours, I'd probably be watching football. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you watch a lot of football? I watch a lot of football, yeah. Uh, what, every game that's on the telly, the Premier League games, you'd watch them, would you? Yeah, if, if, if I'm not at like something that I have to yeah. be at. You know, if I'm not on a board call, I watch a lot of Premier League football. Uh, I watch the football in Scotland and the international football, of course, yeah. Who is the one current player in the Premier League that you'd love to have played with? Mo Salah. I love Bruno Fernandes, you mightn't agree with that, but I, I really like him. Kevin De Bruyne, for sure. Yeah. 
100%. I think he's one of the best in the world right now. Defensive-wise, I think Virgil's just yeah. out of this world. Greatest player of all time? Uh, Lionel Messi for me, but I'm someone who would never say a, a derogatory thing about Ronaldo because, I mean, he's another phenomenal day. The two in in my era that were just the numbers. When you're a footballer and you've done it yourself, the numbers are just... I, I'm not sure who's going to do that again. Yeah. I'm not sure that's going to happen again. Who's the best player in Premier League history? Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry. Yeah. Which current young player do you think will go on to become the best in the world? Mbappe. If I could start my career again and you could pick one thing that you could think and add to yourself, it'd be that pace. I'd add height, pace and control. <laughs> <laughs> the list goes on. <laughs> First football kit you ever wore? I think it was a candy Liverpool home kit. I can't remember the exact one, but it would have been a it would have had candy on it. Uh, Liverpool kit, yeah. Favourite sporting icon? Tiger Woods. Just love, just love him, I don't know why. Last minute penalty? I think I can answer it before you finish it. Go on then. Harry Kane. Harry Kane? Yeah. Just like, wow, like I know. the technique and like the pace and the speed and the accuracy. I think he's putting them exactly where he wants to. I think he's mastered that. And fair play to him. What was your pre-match ritual? Yeah, I'd normally set me alarm for a certain time. I'd always make sure I had my breakfast. If it was a three o'clock kickoff, I'd always make sure I got two meals in. I never right. ever felt right if I only got one in. Um, so even if that meant getting up earlier and doing that, I used to like a, a little walk and always go back to the footy stuff, you know, like uh, Soccer Saturday yeah. or whatever was on at the time. And yeah, that would be the normal uh, routine. Early bird or night owl? Early bird. I'm probably <clears throat> up half, six, seven most mornings, yeah. The most hostile atmosphere you've ever played in? Goodison and Old Trafford, certainly up there, because obviously I was a, 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 a target, uh, which, which is fine. <laughs> uh, played away at Besiktas once. Yeah. Um, we, I think you might have played in the game when we played Turkey yeah, at one of the stadiums when Emil Asky had the yes. thing. Yeah. Yeah, probably them two, yeah. Best party you've ever been to? <laughs> probably ones I've had myself. Because obviously you want to put a good show on and stuff. I'm very much like if you're having a party, go the whole way, you know, go like banding. <laughs> Get decent singers in, some yeah. backup acts, a couple of good DJs. Are you going to do it? You know, you've got to do it properly, haven't you? You know what I mean? <laughs> can I come there? <laughs> yeah, if you can, yeah. <laughs> if you could live one day in someone else's life, who would it be? Bradley Cooper, Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> I'd probably do one. Bradley Cooper, is that the guy in um, Star is Born? Yeah. yeah. I like that film. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't mind being in for that date in that film. <laughs> I quite like that film. Best goal you've ever scored? FA Cup final, 2006. Yeah, the equaliser late on. I was, it was a massive goal. I was well. tired, I had cramp. I just took one on that maybe I wouldn't have normally. I was in there. Malta watching it. I was <laughs> devastated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't expect, I didn't expect anything different. If you weren't a football manager, what career would you be in? Maybe punditry, but I had a go at that. I enjoyed it. thought it was different, but didn't really get the same buzz yeah. or feeling that. You know, obviously, really a privilege to get the opportunity, but uh, I think it's something that you have to master. I think you and Jamie, obviously, without blowing smoke, I think you have done a fantastic job at it. I'm not sure I wanted to really be become and, and put the work in to, to do that. I missed the buzz of playing. I yeah. really wanted to be back in the dressing room and that buzz to win three points or qualify in a cup. Yeah. That's what I missed. I missed it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thanks, Stevie. Cheers.